Good morning, you guys. It is 5.30 a.m. I'm trying to get to work by 6 on this Monday morning. It is officially the start of busy season, so first week of overtime for the season. I figured I'd vlog and kind of catch you guys up with what's going on with work and life. So yeah, let's see what happens this week. This week is off to a great start. So I got here a little bit before 6 a.m. and the lady that usually gets here to unlock the doors at 6 is not here yet. So I'm thinking she probably took the day off because she usually gets here at like 5.45, which I would have missed her anyways because I got here at like 5.55. Only on Mondays is this a problem because my Nashville co-workers get here at 6 a.m. every single day, but they obviously drive up on Mondays. So every day except for Monday, they would be here. But it's Monday and they're not here and I don't know when the next person comes. Maybe 6.30. So I got up for 30 minutes early for no reason. Happy Monday, y'all. I'm really like the luckiest person in the world in the smallest ways because I get to make Hello, little Ellie Mae. You got your blanket falling off here. <laughs> She's got that concerned face. I don't even know how you do that. I was trying it earlier. She's watching TV now. You are the cutest little thing. You are you good girl. Yes, you good girl. <laughs> Just some blanking. Hey guys, so today at work, I didn't really talk anything about it, I don't think. It was pretty mellow, nothing dramatic happened. It was a pretty boring Monday, probably. But I did get a really cool email. So Wednesday, we have this office-wide training where our entire huge office, like all the departments come together for this one day of year. It's more like a social event, but we also have CPE at the beginning, so everyone goes. Anyways, HR emailed me and asked if I would be willing to participate and volunteer to go up on stage for this little illustration thing that they plan on doing. So I was like, heck yeah, I want to do that. So I get to go on stage Wednesday, not a big deal, but I am excited because I'm just weird like that. And then after work, I took off to my parents' house to see my mom's mom. I haven't seen her in a long time and she came over to visit my mom. So I got to see her for a minute, literally a minute because she had to leave. <laughs> so, and my sister brought over the baby. So I got to play with little Ellie, my little niece. She's getting so big now she can hold her head up and it's just so cool to like watch literally every single stage of the baby. But I feel like I'm still missing time because it's been a couple weeks since I've seen her and she's getting so big, but she's so cute. But yeah, so now it is like way past my bedtime. You guys probably just saw my hairy armpit just then. Hopefully not. But I'm about to do my workout. So I'm on day six of this Transform 20 Sean T daily workout. It's only 20 minutes long. But so far, I've not been able to get all the way through it without taking breaks. Like, y'all, this is so intense. Like, I'm so out of shape. I survived day six. It was actually the easiest one so far. Today I was focusing on stretching because these heifers are on a schedule that today's Saturday. Today's Monday for me. Monday's supposed to be the hardest day. So what a surprise. <laughs> so I reward myself with stickers from my awesome sticker book. So here's my transform 20 workout progress. We survived another day. Yay. Happy Tuesday, you guys. Today is August 27th, and it was the release of Starbucks Pumpkin Spice, so I got one. All right, let's go to work. I've been so tired today. I literally left at like 2.30 to go take a 30 minute nap in my car today, and then had to work an extra 30 minutes because I just was literally falling asleep. I don't know what my deal is today. But I'm at the post office to check for some postcards. I have not checked in over a month, maybe two months. It's been a long time, so. Hopefully you guys have something for me. We will see. I've got you guys propped up on my dashboard. So I got one from New Orleans. I have been there and it's such a pretty place, but it's very muggy and hot. Oh, congrats on being a CPA. Thank you so much, love it. And then I got this mystery envelope with some stuff inside. Want to be a bunch of junk mail somebody's forwarding to me. I'm happy to receive it, I love getting mail. Oh, somebody wrote me a letter. Okay, I'm gonna have to read this when I get home. Oh, whoever 
that it says thank you so much in advance. I will read it when I get home. My gas light is on, so I gotta get some gas. Home sweet home. I have dinner later with a friend, Lonnie. Oh, you guys met Lonnie in a couple vlogs ago. And I have my CPA Q&A video already filmed. It just needs to be edited, so I plan on doing that tonight. But I believe I'm gonna take a nap because I'm exhausted. Okay, you guys, I'm alive. I'm also, oh my gosh, my pin is still on from work. I can put that in my bag because I gotta wear that tomorrow. We got our official Nashville training with the big head honchos. Okay, so I'm gonna read the letter up from one of you guys. Oh, this person must be smarter than me. They write in cursive. I didn't learn cursive in school. I'm a millennial here. Arkansas, how cool. <laughs> this person's hilarious. They want me to do a video on how I studied for FAR. I do plan on filming that probably the weekend after next due to the fact that I'll be out of town this coming weekend. But that is coming along with how I studied for all the exams. I'll include that. Oh, this person is so sweet. Oh my goodness. So this person wants to remain anonymous, so I won't say anything. But thank you so, so much for this letter. And I will definitely get that video up for you as well as others who wanna know my studying process. That is so sweet. You guys are so kind. Like it's hard for me to even understand because I don't see you. And so I kind of feel like I'm talking to myself on most of my CPA videos. So without reading the comments, which I'm behind again, I'm getting on the comments. It's hard for me to know the feedback that I'm receiving. So I'm glad that I'm able to help some of you guys with your CPA journey and inspire you because not all, not all accountants are super like nerdy and figure themselves out easily and know how to do the tests and are like blessed with that DNA. Cause I definitely was not blessed with that exam. Let me tell you, it was a very hard struggle, as you guys know. So thank you for that letter. It just made my whole day. Okay, now I need to run to dinner with my friend or I'm gonna be late and she's not gonna be happy with me. Here's Lonnie. We're here at the Double Dogs. We just got chips and dip because we weren't actually hungry but didn't tell each other. <laughs> it's hump day. So it's like five something in the morning. I'm about to head out, meet my coworkers, and we're gonna head to the 615 Nashville. All right, you guys, it's seven o'clock. We just made it back, or I made it back to my apartment. They're probably still figuring out their ways to the hotel. Literally the first 30 minutes into this training, they were talking about different ways to commute in Nashville because one of the staff had asked about what are ways that the office is trying to help Nashville traffic, like combat that with commuting to work or whatnot. And they showed a video of me riding my scooter to work and they filmed that video months ago. I forgot all about it. I didn't see it post anywhere and I didn't know what they were gonna do with that video. So now I know, and they called me up on stage in front of everybody. We're talking like 500 people, probably more than that. And they got me this custom made sticker saying comp trolling on my scooter with our little TriStar Tennessee. <laughs> it is hilarious. Like who'd have thought they did not rehearse that with me. They didn't tell me. They were like, where's Heaven Muncie? And then they asked me to come up on stage. I can't, I'm still like, how did that just happen? But anyways, I have to run to Food City real quick because I got a cake made for my coworker. What else do I need? Nothing, my keys and my phone. I got a cake made because his birthday's tomorrow and I need to go pick it up. That big brother comes on in an hour and I still gotta do my workout and just so many things. Got my coworker's cake, y'all. It's got his name, but y'all don't need to know his name. Nosies. Just finished my workout. That was the hardest one so far. It was the first day of week two. Kill me now, there's six weeks total. All right, here we go. Oh, it's crooked as crap. Oh well, it kind of describes today. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday. I am half asleep. I snoozed all my alarms, woke up at the last minute, like jumped out of bed, was like, holy crap, I was supposed to leave 30 minutes ago. So I'm not rolling up until 7.15 today. I actually stopped at Walgreens on the way to pick up my pictures. Apparently my photos were developed from my Seattle Vancouver trip. We got disposable cameras and they never called me or nothing. I had to call them and ask yesterday and yeah, apparently they're good to go, ready to be picked up. And so I went there this morning and they were closed, which is so weird. I thought Walgreens is open 24 hour. I don't know why I thought that, but it's not, in case you thought so too. You guys are sitting in my trunk right now. So I'm taking my scooter to the Walgreens to go pick up my disposable camera of the pictures I took on our trip because I can't take my car and I won't get a parking spot when I get back because this lot is full. All right, y'all, if you were to guess that I got lost, I definitely did. So that was much longer than I expected. About 30 minutes, pick up some pics. It's all good, it's beautiful weather, it feels like fall. 
I really want to take a nap because I am so, so exhausted. So I think instead of taking a nap, I'm going to film a video for you guys thanks to the inspiration from that letter from the anonymous person in my P.O. box. And go ahead and film my video about how I studied for each of the CPA exams. So check it out if you haven't already. In case you guys are wondering why we had a training in Nashville during the first week of comp busy season, we don't know either. <laughs> it's like the annual time every year that they send everybody to Nashville. We are starting overtime earlier this year because usually we start after Labor Day just because of the audit dynamics this year we need to start earlier so that's why we're on busy season right now just in case you were wondering but yeah i think i'm gonna film a video for you guys so i don't take a nap on my unmade bed what a nice thursday after a work of a long frustrating day of internet problems getting to go outside in a random field with solar panels and hide under the shade so a few of my favorite little disposable camera pictures there's twin with the seaplane. This one's cool. You can't really see much, but it's the cockpit of the plane. On the train. Random guy. This one turned out super cool. From Cary Park, a view of Seattle with a space needle. This one is so legit. Like, no filter added. Pure vintage throwback disposable camera. I love it. <laughs> Random chitlins. <laughs> twin doing twin things. Space needle. Views! I really could have been quiet and let you guys listen to music during this, but I'm being the narration. The first Starbucks ever to start the whole business! It was actually called Pike's Place, and then they renamed it Starbucks. Pike's Place Market! This one turned out really cool too, one of my faves. Just a couple weirdos being weird. And a picture of Twin with his disposable camera. <laughs> What is up you guys? I just got off work. It is Friday. I did not vlog this morning because I was like half a human. I was a zombie and exhausted, but I got there by 6.15. So yeah, I got to leave at noon. I already got my 10 hours of overtime in, which is crazy, but that's mostly thanks to Wednesday working at 13 and a half hours. But we were in the car for like six, seven of those hours. So it's kind of cheating, but I ain't complaining. I'm about to run around and run a bunch of errands because I am finally able to be off during business hours this week. And I probably won't be able to do this for the rest of the busy season. So I need to take advantage of it now. So first I'm gonna pay my rent. That was technically the second order of business because I got lunch first, McDonald's. Y'all know me, quick and cheap. Next, I need to run to the recycling center and then pick up a birthday card for my mom because today's her birthday. Happy birthday, mom. I'm the worst daughter ever and bought my coworker a cake this week but have not gotten mom anything. That was bad grammar. Twenty nineteen girls, I dropped off another bag of plastics. What is that? Seven? Yee hee! I'm literally the worst with birthdays. I got mom a card only because it says a little slice of heaven <laughs> and it talks about a birthday. And I got her this cute little succulent camper. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. I definitely fall guilty of buying gifts that I would like to receive, but my parents go camping way more than I ever will. And that is the cutest little succulent thing ever. So hopefully she enjoys it. If she won't take it, then I'll take it. Anyways, hopefully she likes these little tiny birthday gifts. Yo, I'm the worst. I literally filmed this video, the CPA Q&A, about a week ago. And I was gonna sit down and start editing it, but I'm just so tired. Like, I desperately need a nap. You guys didn't really miss anything with work. Nothing super interesting happened. It's pretty boring week. Did lots of controls testing. We're still doing risk assessments. And yeah, we're starting the test work. And I think my coworkers are getting a lot of work to do. Um, but numbers keep changing because they haven't officially closed the books 100% yet. So... You know, we can only do what we can do. <laughs> but anyways, tomorrow I am going camping with Amy's family for Labor Day weekend. I am so, so excited. I went last year. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog of my first week of busy season 2019. And I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Probably got food in my teeth. <laughs>